away from hustle and bustle city. B gives up London with husband and baby Sienna to closer to family. Princess Beatrice relocated her family to the Cotswolds to guarantee the privacy of her daughter Sienna and her stepson Wolfie. Princess Beatrice and her husband Eduardo Mopelli Mozzi welcomed baby Sienna Elizabeth on September 19. The couple had been living in St. James's Palace since their wedding in July 2020 but reportedly relocated to the Cotswolds shortly after the birth of their daughter. The eldest daughter of the Duke and Duchess of York will not only be able to count more privacy but also on the several relatives living nearby. According to Vanity Fair Italy, Beatrice and Eduardo settled on a £3 million property boasting a pool and tennis courts, as well as more privacy for their young daughters and Edo's young son Wolfie. In addition to the entrepreneur's parents living in the Cotswolds, the young couple can also count on the support of Princess Anne, who's based in Gatcombe Park in Gloucestershire. The Princess Royal's children, Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips, also live on the property with their families. Prince Charles can also be found escaping to Gloucestershire with Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall to his beloved Highgrove, in Tetbury. Princess Beatrice, while not a working member of the royal family, is very active in supporting her charities and could maintain St. James's Palace as her official working residence. She would not be the first member of the royal family to hold multiple residences. Princess Anne also has her work office at St. James's Palace although she spends the majority of her time in Gloucestershire. Prince Charles has his own official residence at Clarence House in London and will likely make Buckingham Palace his office once he succeeds the Queen. As for Harry and Meghan, who claims they lack privacy, they sure like to share details of their private lives, whether it's in a podcast or a documentary, a letter to US Congress or while promoting their multiple media ventures. As for returning to the UK, that's been a bit of a farce as Meghan has not been back once, while Harry has only returned a handful of times. And word on the street is they are not making their way back anytime soon. Despite it being the Queen's first Christmas since losing Prince Philip, it is widely believed the Sussexes will not be at Sandringham House to celebrate Christmas and introduce their daughter to the royal family during an in-person visit. That being said, there's more to the royal family than the couple who removed themselves from that royal life. Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge normally work from apartment 1A at Kensington Palace but are known to escape to their country pile in Norfolk, and Hall, with their children. They moved the whole family to Norfolk during the first lockdown and offered insight into their own home as they moved the majority of their work online as the country isolated. Beatrice previously shared her home with her younger sister Princess Eugenie, who moved to Prince Harry's home at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor following the birth of her son August Philip Hawke in February 2021. Princess Alexandra, a fraternal cousin to the Queen, also has a grace and favour apartment at St. James's Palace. St. James's Palace remains the official residence of the British monarch despite Queen Victoria moving the majority of her court to Buckingham Palace in 1837. The Queen's official royal court is still officially known as the Court of St. James's and all foreign ambassadors and diplomats are accredited by the court rather than the British government.